Why, hello everybody, how are you doing? Firewatch, isn't that a horror game? Yeah, no, it's not. It really isn't, but look, I can go wee. Um, yeah, I've not actually played it, but I do know it's not a horror game. I do know that there is fire and, and I'm spending a lot of time watching stuff. So, it's fire watch, that, that's the rules. Um, anyway, how are you guys? I, I hope you're doing well. I, I just, bleh. words, things. Kitten, hate you. You suck. You literally took this moment to, to be an asshole. Almost as if you've got a radar for it, you twazzock. Oh, by all means, stand in front of the chat window. That'll be great. There's nothing that can go wrong there. Oh, there's, I don't leave anything on my desk for you to eat anymore. You greedy little fucker. Move. I need a spray bottle. I'm getting a spray bottle. Move. Down. Thank you. Anyway... <laughs> Not well, but alive. So good. Yeah, I guess so. That is, that is, that is, that, that is a thing. So, this is a new game. Um, as you can tell, I have not played this game before. So let's start over there. Dun, dun, dun. It's loading. It's lo loading. Oh, there we go. I thought it stopped for a sec. No, no, no. It... Oh, there we go. Campo Santa forgets my cat's an arsehole. They don't present my cat's an arsehole. My cat just is an arsehole. In cooperation, cooperation with Panic Inc. At lots and lots of wine glasses. Boulder, Colorado. 1975. Neighbours have finished, I assume. Yeah. You see, Julia... Oh, no. Oh. No, you see Julia. Okay, you see Julia. I see Julia. Woo! She's about your age. Late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. That doesn't sound like me. You are drunk. So, what's your, you know, major? You. You are pretty. Um... I would try neither of these pickup lines. Um, I, I wasn't. Hope it wasn't the neighbours with the loud kids. I'm not really sure because I'm sort of in a block of like, like four. I think you, so pretty, is the drunk, is the drunk. Cat, piss off. I'm getting a spray bowl. Never had to use one before, but you push it with patience. You, you're pretty. You're pretty, she says coolly. You are not. You are a future hangover. What? You reply confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down the waiter and one week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Julia is an idiot. Um, I'm just saying that now. Don't know what she's studying, but whatever it is, she's... Oh. Oh. I've got hands. I've got legs. Got feet. Can I move? Woo! Box step. Woo, boom, boom, dancing. Kitty move. Yeah, I've got a water bottle if you don't move. Seriously. Bloody Nora. Okay, so let's just pick up the backpack. Oh, I'll put it on. I can walk, I can dance, I can sing. Actually, I probably can't at the moment. Can I, can I? Oh, I can't actually interact with the... Can I crouch? I cannot crouch. Um, okay. I'm guessing this is my car. Oh. You just toss... Yeah, that's a great place to... I, 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 get, I get confused by this. Um, so, Kitten's found a box, if you're wondering what the noise is. She's an asshole. We're getting there. Um, this is Atlas, not GLaDOS. GLaDOS is not generally an arsehole. She's, she's... <sighs> okay, you date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. Perfect. 
You move in, you share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains, you two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. S I like this game already. Julia wants to get a dog. No, get cats. Ah, oh, I'm gonna. F and obviously, by kill, I mean, um, uh, I mean feed. Obviously, um, yeah. Uh, the music's gone because my cat has knocked the uh, the 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 headphones from my game because, and I can't. <sighs> Hang on, let's see if I can... So, yeah, I need to restart this already because the world is a cruel and unusual place. So, um, we'll get to this bit in a second. So, I apologise for my cats. My cats are dicks. So, music to kill cats by. Da -da -da -da. That's more of a... more of a thing. And, uh... Apparently the game... Oh, there we go. Well, it's all good. It's all good. Um, can we continue that? Not really sure there was much to continue, to be fair. Oh, no. It's just backpack and put it on and uh, run to the thing. I really, really hate my cat at the moment because this is a cruel and unusual punishment. I am a cruel and unusual punishment. Not punisher because I'm, I'm not. Yeah. Because I'm not. Okay, life's good. We got to that point. And Julia wanted to get a dog for some reason. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket. You adopt the shepherd and name him Mayhem. She's going to die a tragic death. Calling it now. I haven't played the game yet, but I'm calling it. I... I think something much more tragic is going to happen to her than death. Um, I reckon she's going to divorce him. Um, still no music. Okay, I might have to restart the OBS. Okay, I will be with you in one second. And I apologise for this because... Yeah, I will be back in a second so I can get the music because there is audio to this. So I'm I'm stopping streaming and I will be back in like literally probably 30 seconds. Don't go anywhere. If you do go anywhere, I understand and I, I completely get it. But don't go anywhere if you can possibly avoid it. Be right back. <laughs> I have restarted everything. We're going to do this even if it kills us. And if it kills you... I will understand, but uh, we've only had one vote. Oh no, we've had we've had bucket votes. Okay, let's pick up this backpack for the third time, and uh, blame the cat because because oh hi Jedi. Okay, sound seems fine. Yeah, I I, I sort of did do a check. Okay, we're leaning towards Bucket. We dated for over a year. Blah 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 blah. I, I'm slightly ir irritated, Julia, at this point. Julia wants to get a dog. We're going to pick up a beagle and name him Bucket. Always blame the cat. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. If it kills you, just become the zombies with you. Yeah! 1979, the year before I was born. You take talk out on deck. It's summer, 9.30, and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. Kids, they're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying, if you and I have some, a couple of little of idiots, that would be pretty good or one day why rush? Well, uh, is it pretty good to have kids or should we just not rush into them? Because I've got the feeling this story is going to go a whole other way if... If we have kids or we try for, I get the feeling that if we try for kids, that's not gonna happen. Uh, kids are idiots, by the way. That's that's the whole point. They haven't lived very long. So, I like that. That would be pretty good. Okay. 
In that case, we should probably get married. Oh, yeah, 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 I'd like that. Mm. Kitten's back. Little shit biscuit. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say, I say she's absolutely right. Oh. Yay! Ooh. Where's my bag? Have I got my bag on? I feel like I should have my... Did I drive this whole way and lose my backpack? Is that what's... Oh, I can see my belt. Look. I am not a fit person. And I've got stubby little legs. Look at my legs! So cool. Um, anyway. Uh, hello, kitty. Ow. Do not forget to check in. Two forks. Bear tooth point. Okay, so there's an actual map. You're in their country now. Learn to live with bears. Warning, thoroughfare trail is not recommended for inexperienced hiker, hike, uh, hikers. No fireworks. I guess this is pretty. I didn't. I didn't. Oh, it is actually. It's like. Quite like this. This is quite pretty. Oh dear. 1980. The year I was born. It's Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. Isn't this game about someone who had cancer? Don't think so. She's not quite drunk. But she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets in between the sheets. And I get mad or I ignore her. I mean, when you say we fight, I, I don't know what that is. Um, I'm going to say get mad. Mm. She's, I'm going to get, I, I'd probably get mad if she didn't call for four hours. To be fair. Um. Because if if you care about someone, you let them, they, you know they're going to worry and they're expecting you home. You call them. I don't give a shit. I would get mad. You call her an inconsiderate arsehole, because she is. She tells you to fuck yourself and not to be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. Well, she was selfish and an inconsiderate arsehole. So... Yeah, the truth fucking hurts sometimes. Um, is that why the cats are always around? That they like you? I won't go that. Never go to sleep angry, so fight now! It's on, bitches! <laughs> 1981, Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like a mix of Toria's secret model. Um, I I feel like I'm a frolicker, as a rule. As a rule, um, I'm definitely a frolicker. Julia was right. You are very pretty. Damn straight, I'm pretty. Oh, that seems really high. That seems ridiculously high. Kid it ow! This cat is not leaving me alone today. I'm not sure how I feel about the little tiny little hands on the bottom of the, sh bottom of the screen. They're teeny compared to that's my body. They're teeny little hands. They're Trump hands. Trump hands. Trump hand man. Maybe it's Trump. Oh, no, no. He, he seems to have a fulfilling relationship. Um, two Forks Lookout Tower. Eight more miles still. Okay. Space Barb. What? Ooh, so pretty. Can't see anything in the chat, by the way, because the cat is literally standing with her ass over the chat. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking buckets at night. No. That's too far. That's in front of the game screen. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Oh, no! Bucket gets kicks. Bear by the dog. Julia yells. She gets flusters and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. 
You scare him away or you beat his goddamn face in. Just kicks my dog. Um. <laughs> just kicks my dog. I'm, I'm gonna beat his goddamn face in. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes... There, that's about right. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to get have kids get waylaid by work. Aww. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Oh, this is... This is a difficult choice. Convince her not to take the job. Agree if she commutes com back and forth. Um... Well, who am I to stand in the way of someone's dreams? If she wants to commute back and forth, fine, but option B is stop being a selfish prick and go with her. Um, you ask her if she commute back and forth, don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if that's what she wants. She agrees, she flies back to Boulder three times each semester. 1985, Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. An episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember that she had happily loaned them to her, him just two days prior. Oh no. This would be early onset dementia? Outside, early onset Alzheimer's, I'm thinking. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try not to forget about and try to forget about it. No, I think maybe we should talk to someone. Someone who's brain cancer. Ugh. After seeing multiple doctors ah, and having many tests, they're worried that Julie might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, I can't move. So pick up my journal. Oh, okay, right. Right, okay. <clears throat> well. This video is not going up on um up on YouTube after this, so this is your one time only shot. Um Yep, yeah, no no Okay Um <laughs> I feel like I should have flexed rather than not in my Christian suburbs. Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to university. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She's sent home on permanent medical leave. <sighs> Some days you get the junior who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. Ooh. No, that was frolicking. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with things to brighten the day, and she gets worse. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live with some, 
could live somewhere else, someone with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. Decide to move her into a full-time care facility. You're determined to take care of her by yourself. Dude, no, don't be a hero in this situation. If she needs full-time care, in, if you're following her around the house all the time and just wishing someone else was there to help you, she needs, she needs full-time care. She needs full-time care, she does. Well, I can see why I've decided to come out into the forest alone, to be fair. I probably would do that as well. Ugh. My heart. It's pretty forest, though. I think I would probably... If I had to deal with that, I would probably do this too. Go out and live in nature for a bit. Oh, hello. Pretty! Her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every uh, every day. And then, every other day. Go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. You slowly decide not to... Oh, oh my heart can't do this. Is the whole game like this? Is this going to end with a gun in his mouth? No, well, he's gone into the forest, I'm assuming. Um, Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. And you won't. You've always really liked Susan. Months go by. Bucket dies! Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. It's not all like this, okay. You take it. I thought this was going to be wholesome. I thought this was going to be wholesome. No, we've got Sophie's choice here. God damn those feels. Enter the look. Oh, I think I'm in the game proper now. Okay. Is there anything pretty to look at? I feel like I shouldn't go too far right now. But, you know. Jonesy Lake, seven miles to the west. So down that road. Okay, let's... I guess it's my first night here. I should probably go up and entertain myself. Is there anything around that I need to... Cinder block. Yeah, I got myself a cinder block. Okay, I feel all manly now. Nothing else? Okay. It's the setup to get you invested in the... Ca I, I figured that somehow. Pretty damn invested, I have to say. What was that? Something flashed. Hop over. Hey, it's my own personal workout arena. Let's go back over. He's got to make that noise every single time he jumps over something. I like these because these remind me of um, the Long Dark because they've got watchtowers as well, which I think are pretty damn cool. Yep. Watching stuff. Oh, there's the door. Turn on the power. Oh, shut the door behind me. That's not the power. I'm guessing that's the power. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Uh, hello? Uh, hello? Can I open the drawer? Or Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Um, Hello? Contact the supervisor on the radio. Okay, um... Hold left shift. Left shift. Uh... 
Hello? Um, hello? Oh, Whoever that's a complicated system. It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse uh, me? Sorry? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, what? I just <laughs> hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... Like, sleep? Forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Um... You... You killed a free ex-husband, you rebelling against mom, nobody back home can stand you. Re rebelling against mom. Okay, um, you're probably just rebelling against a mom who wishes you had given her grandkids, by the sound of your voice, at least 15 years ago. Harsh. Ooh. You come out here and it really grinds her gears and you love it. Can I sleep now? Well, she also says I fuck immature men, but in my defense, who wouldn't want a 28-year-old with ambition and energy and some fire in his belly in bed? Me. I'm going now. <laughs> Just a second. Now it's my turn. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh. Is that it? Close. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Okay. That that was a that was a weird opening. Fine. Um. Hey, I mean, oh, oh, I'm a, I'm a failed writer. Good morning, Henry. Excellent. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk. So That's creepy. When you're ready. That's creepy. I guess. Hang on. What have I got here? Desk lamp. Ah, uh, photo with Julia. Okay, fine. All right. Sorry, I guess I slept in. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. She's just drunk. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Uh... Hold left shift to talk about targeted object. Yes, I'm reporting the map table. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Well, nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. <laughs> Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Hmm. Make, oh, use end to use the compass. Are those fucking fireworks? Uh, is I don't know. Is it? Um. I need oh. you to confirm. Do you see them? Oh yeah, I see them. Those yeah, Whoa, those are damn like fireworks. Legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Oh. Like, kick the shit out of them? Can I write them a ticket? I'm not really into discipline. Can I write them a ticket? That? Do I write them a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The okay. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Uh, se secure, convenient, smart, secure. Secure. Shut up. <laughs> okay, so got supplies. Report the supplies. Can't report the supplies. Old Scottish oil soap. I. Yep. I put it back. Fine. The singular mind. Um. Am I just? Oh, my thermos. Got to take my thermos. Or... Maybe. Manly! Manly thermos! And there's a toolbox and more crap. And that is a crappy little bed. Okay, I'm guessing... What? Desk drawer. Open the desk drawer. Oh, it's D20! Ah! 
<laughs> Nerding on out. What did I get? 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 Oh, stop rolling. Stop rolling. Fine. What did I get? 20! Totally legit. You know what? I'm just going to close that. And I've got a pine cone for some reason. Hmm. Yep. It's, uh, it's a pine coney. That, that's for sure. Okay. Open up the bag. Yeah, got my backpack. Okay. Right. So, do I have a map? Uh, okay. Where am I? That's me there. Cash 306. So, I've got to go down the trail to the lake. Okay, well, I can do that. That's fine. Um, which way? Which way is the stairs? Can I run? Apparently, I can't. Oh, apparently now I can. What? That okay? <laughs> what do they mean, hurry? We obviously don't know what this is. An explorey game. We're we're running on Renoa time. To map to me. Oh, I gotta go like the other way, like this way, to Jonesy Lake. What did I? Oh, there's another cinder block. Wonder what happens. Can I take a cinder block with me, or am I right? I am. I'm going like this way. I'm going on a thisly direction. Put the map away. Don't need that. Off a run. Do I just, if I just keep press, ah, oh, just keep press. Thank you. Same cinder block you threw earlier. I am a manly man with my cinder block. Um, I guess down this way to the, to the thing. I guess so. I'll, I'll just put it down here. Okay. Would a Skyrim series ever come out on your channel? Mm, I'm not really a fan of Skyrim. Um, and I know a lot of people are going to go, What? Because apparently Skyrim is the awesome. But, um... Going the wrong way. Shut up, I'll learn! Don't backseat game me pushed. Pretty sure I'm not going the wrong way. Yeah, see, I'm going, like, the right way by accident. Shut up. It's how this game works. The right way by accident. Hally up? No? Going around. Okay, fine. Maybe. Oh, no, you're right. I am actually going, like, entirely the opposite direction that I'm supposed to be going. No, I was reading that wrong. That's fine. I'm here to learn. Hello, Cleo. My wife and I lo <laughs> love your videos. I read I read that in the, the entirely... I put that full stop entirely the wrong place. Um, but glad to know you like it. I mean, that's what I'm here for. I mean, like most of the time. Oh, I have lost the trail, like, so hard. Ah. Maybe. Nope. Oh. Has Fading Hearts remakes come out yet? That's literally my favourite series on New Blues. Fading Fading Hearts was awful. Like ridiculously bad. I think it's the one it's the one game that me and um Corpse actually generally agree, genuinely agreed that we hated. Oh yeah, so I've got to continue on this path, I think. I think. If I continue on this, I'm going to run. Use compass to go west. Why would I do that? West is... West is that way. No, I'm going to follow this road because I can. And it's going to annoy the crap out of you guys. It's fine. It was hilarious with us two playing. We hated that game. Because it was awful. Oh, I'm going the right way for the wrong reasons, apparently. 
totally. Back home. Say nothing. Just, just nothing, you guys. I mean, I'm learning. Shut up. Look, look, I'm here. I knew I'd get you there to Jonesy Lake. Let's go. <clears throat> They're the... <clears throat> oh, butterfly. Leaf. Different things. Those are not the same thing. You ain't saying nothing. Yeah, and don't you forget it. Okay, so we just... This is ridiculously pretty as a game. More slow clapping. Captain Tiffin, I, I, I could easily... See? I could easily go off people. Right, so it's just around the corner here. At least it should be. One is part of a plant and the other is part of an animal. You're not the boss of me. Hmm. This way? This way. There it is. Aha! I knew I'd get there. You want I should ban them? No. It's okay. Open. Uh, it's, uh... Oh, have I got to use... Oh. Apparently... Oh, it's... There we go. One... Two, three, four. There you go. What for? Ooh. Copy information onto my map. Okay, that's clever. What's the note say? Um. Let's let's radio in about the note. Found. Oh, hang on. Let's read the note. Um. Ron, hey man, couldn't take it, so I locked up, locked up his lookout and put a map. Hey man, guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars, you know, like hiring in, like hiking into the park. But let's get fucked when I'm back. Slash Dave. Um, found a note between a couple of guys. Do people lose their shit out here? Actually, that's what I would want to know. Do people, Do people lose their, lose shit, their shit doing this job? There's a note that says a guy just left his post. It happens, yeah. Oh. You're not going to pop your top, are you, Henry? Mm. I wasn't planning on it. Okay. Uh, we'll keep that note, because that's mine. Hey, I got the rope. I tracked down that rope. It was right where you said. Great. So you should be set to get down to the lake. Terrific. Now I'm going to take a granola bar. Thought we weren't supposed to leave food out. People just stuff these things with old food? That's how you get bears. Those boxes are bear proof. I wouldn't worry about it. Bullshit! I... Mm, I'm gonna take the granola bars. No, I'm gonna eat it! Mine now. The pine cone, I'm assuming. It's a pine cone, you think, guys? I think it might be a pine cone. A sh I'll put it back in the box. There. Close that. Close that shit. Okay. Right. Now I'm lost again. Right. There's got to be... There was the rock path. Yeah, the rock path. The path by some rocks. Which way am I going is the question. They've got an awful lot of fireworks. Just saying. Um, I guess I'm going west, which is that way. But I guess if that's where that is. I gotta go past the box. I think I might have to. Okay, I guess it doesn't matter which way I specifically go. It's not even that hard for a bear to crack. Is a greater than 90% chance that it is a fact a pine cone. Well, I'm just trying to be sure. Art oh, toggle run, jogging. Okay, fine. I've got to put my map away for one toggle jogging, though. Right. Uh, that's so beautiful. This view, man. Really a whole lot of nothing out here, huh? There really is a whole lot of nothing out here, huh? 
Well, nothing civilized, no. It's a good thing, Henry. You'll like it. Fair enough. How, how am I get, going down this way? Oh, I can tell I'm getting better because I can hear the fireworks more. It's just a bunch of arsehole kids. And I'm guessing that's where I've got to do the rope. And there's, there's a greater than 90% chance I'm going to end up falling to my death. Why even like fireworks now and not a night? Rope hook. Attach rope to hook. Sh shale slide. It's steep. Uh, this shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. Maybe call it Cripple Gulch and go with Widowmaker. What about Shitty Boss is going to get me killed hill? What about Shitty Boss is going to get me killed hill? Is that Absorka Indian? Maybe, maybe Creek? Uh, it's actually English for not in my job description. Did I actually just put that on my map? Please tell me I put that on my map. Shitty boss is gonna get me killed, Hill! <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Love that shit. Okay, yep. Attach the rope. More than $200 worth of... Yeah, let's let's repel. <laughs> Come on, keep on. Well, okay, I'm not a big fan of heights, but this actually makes me more nervous than it should do. No, no, no! Okay, I've just broken my neck. Ow. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My shitty boss almost got me killed. First, <laughs> your boss is a delight. Secondly, Jesus. What exactly happened? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No. I I'm just for dignity. Be careful for Christ's sake. Okay, boss. Nice rotten rope that's been out for a while. Walk it off. Walk it off, man. Walk it off. Old climbing gear. Ooh. Examine that. Okay, yep, that's old climbing gear. Uh, hey, there's a tie-off point off here, just a little away from the shale slide. Oh, you ready to get back on that horse, huh? Hey, well, Sophie, how you doing? further is what I'm saying. That heads south down to the creek, but you should be able to get to the lake just by continuing west. Without any, you know, mountaineering. All right. It's a long summer. You can explore later. Okay, boss. Okay, shitty boss. Going west, we're going this way. Shitty boss, gonna get me killed. Shitty boss. Shitty, 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 shitty boss. Hello, Steam Trap. How are you doing? Ooh, yes, let's report everything. Nice camping spot. Cliffs down here or something. Um, this is a nice camping spot. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down there. I, get, I, think, I think my guy's years, really, really yeah, talkative. Jonesy Lake area is perfect. It's gonna be chatty about everything. No, I, I'm not. I'm quite sure where to look. It's, there's a lake. You go down a bit, it's a lake. What the chuffy chuff is this? Beer can. Huh. Red Eagle, brewed in Wyoming. You know what, fuck it, I'm not the maid. Fuck it, I'm not the maid. <laughs> Finding a bunch of empty beer cans, they threw them all over hell. Can I just, the yeah, down I'm the gonna lake? clean up. Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Yeah, I am the maid. I am all the maids, because... I don't know. I feel like you shouldn't... Don't don't litter nature, dudes. I mean... Littering in the, in, in the street also makes you a bit of a dick, to be honest. But don't litter the nature. Nature's cool, yo. Okay. Well... I guess I'm going to stomp out that campfire. Okay. Well, I put out their fire. Well, I put out their fire. Man, I want to name that forest fire something good, too. Hey, I can always restart it. Uh, no. I think your first instinct was the right one. Uh, okay, they're incredibly pissed. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. 
Um, oh, shit. Ferret or Irish. Is that good? I, I guess that's good. Hang on. It says, a tradition of craftsmanship, certified age, and uncompromising quality. Still matured and bold in Ireland. Nice. Save it for later. Littering is bad. It's not, it's not good. Back, back from whence you came. Let's pick up the cans. There, can I report the people with shitty man manners drink shitty beer? What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What? You don't like a cold musk while light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Uh, Better than these fucking litter bugs, though. That's for sure. Uh oh. Fireworks. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. That's what my job is. Confiscate re magic. And I'm gonna pick up your crappy beer cans. Stuff the long foot long bottle in your back pocket. Uh oh. Hello. Well, they left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. <laughs> the person they never met is those are clothes. And that's music. And we're by a lake. I am really... <laughs> I'm really not looking forward to having this on YouTube right now. Okay, this, this is a literally a one-time only thing. What with the penis at the beginning of the video and the naked hitchhikers. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Okay. Frolics are all... <sighs> Did I just put that on? No, I didn't. Um. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? <laughs> because you're 12. That's true. Um. There's a... Uh, ooh. Yes? Um, there are two naked women. There are two naked ladies out here. Never Can seen you one. handle that? Come on. I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's... You know. Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Okay. Uh, found them in the lake. I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy. <laughs> Enjoy dealing with that. Yeah, there's a guy over here. Uh... Quit the fireworks shit or else. Don't pull any more shit or you're fucked, all right? Don't threaten us. Yeah, who the hell are you, creep? Oh, he's just one of those lonely guys who likes to boss people around. Why do guys think it's all right to just stare at girls? Uh. Um. Don't know anything about me. You don't know a damn thing about me. We know you're a peeping Tom. How long are you even standing over there? Oh my God, is that what you are? Bark me out. Ew. Can we just get out of here? Ew, totally. You're gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. I... You suck. Did that go okay? <laughs> um, I hope they I hope drown. They drown. Yow. I don't think anyone would mourn a couple of future arsonists. Just gonna go ahead and not log that as a threat. Thanks. Oh, that's gonna come but back to bite me though, in the ass, isn't that? Thanks for dealing with it. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Um, I hope they drown. <laughs> I hope they drown. Fuckers. <laughs> You're the second person I saw do that. What, throw their, their boombox in, in the water? They deserve it. They're arseholes. Um, 
the kids say that. No, but kids said that in the 80s, which is when this is set. And I say in the 80s, I don't remember ever saying that. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just doing that noise again. Wait for it. Wait for it. See? Does it? Corpse did the same thing. That does not surprise me. Like, in the slightest. They're dickheads. Just, can, can I not get down there? Thank you. What's back here, then? Wait, people actually said that. No. I don't think anyone has ever said that. Gross me out. Yeah. Like, gag me with a spoon. Like, oh my god. Okay, running. Infinite run, go! Or something. What we got? What? Okay, so we're going back to... I have a bit of a confession to make. Oh, why? What is it? What is it? Um, look, I was I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. You don't yeah, say. Well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know. I just I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. And you thought it was a good idea to get into your um, love life, I guess you'd call it. Yeah. Um anyway, I'm uh I'm sorry. Uh, it's not a big deal. It's fine. I'll 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 keep that sort of a thing to uh to a minimum. Oh, anyway, what? that seems let disappointing. Me know when you get back to your lookout. Quite like her already. I mean, not the drunk on the job thing. I'm 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 pretty sure that my character's going to do that pretty quickly anyway. Shitty boss that's trying to get me killed, Hill. Of course she was drunk. There wasn't no way that she wasn't. Uh oh. I guess I'm. Yeah. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. I got hit by lightning when I was nine. Uh, I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? Ooh, hello. Got a thing. Supply cash, you uh one two three four Gimme things right let's Okay I've got that right so we've got where am I now? Thunder Canyon okay to two forks look out Oh look, there's a to bear tooth point. There's a thing up there. Okay, I've got. Ooh. There's a horn or an antler or whatever. Well, antlers are made of bone, and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. Okay, that's a bit weird. Flashlight. I found a flashlight. There's one in there. Great. Well, the sun's gonna go down soon, so if the batteries still work, you're in luck. Ah! <laughs> well done, dude. Flashlight. Okay. Um, I need to be right back. I need the toilet. I'll be about a couple of minutes. And I am back, and I'm sorry about that, but when nature calls, you've got to accept the charges. Ooh, cave. Cave. What's in the cave? What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. 
but in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. I am a grown man. I used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. All right. I... <laughs> ah, danger! It doesn't seem that danger. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. Huh. <laughs> oh. Gates. This cave is gated off. It's to stop Spelunkers cave from dying wonders. without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe it's mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Okay. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, sorry, Hank. Not Hank, Henry. No! It's alright, Yeah, it looks like the path leads through the cave. Back in the cave, huh? Man, I don't need to lose another look out. Oh, is there stuff outside? Uh, another lookout? They it's... go in, they never come out. Because you're there. Oh. Oh, this is another one of your jokes. So this is another one of your jokes. Yeah, it is. Yep. Is there anything around here? I feel like there should be because you've just flagged it, but you know. Gap in brush. Okay, I could go up this way. I, f I feel I feel I feel like I have no idea. Okay. I've where have I got to go? Where's home? I could go through the cave or I could just keep going up here to another cat. You know what? I'm going through the cave. Screw it. I'm going through the cave. Are there bears in the caves? There's not a lot of cave in the cave. So I'm going for no. Okay. Running. Flashlight. Flashlight. Play with the echo one more time. <laughs> okay, we're climbing. Ali hop. Ooh, I'm out. I'm probably dead, but I'm out. Oh, butterfly. Nope, still a leaf. Still a leaf. Uh, There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> the whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's, it's, it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Ugh. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Oh. Uh, Holly, jump. That's not bad for a freestanding jump. Running, jumping, climbing trees, putting on makeup when you're up there. But I love me some Eddie Izzard. And I don't even have to climb over that thing. That's fine. Turns into the forest playthrough. I've only ever seen that once or twice it's not really a thing that hmm it's cave in the cave yeah i know it's great oh no i um yeah i guess i guess not I guess not. Okay, right, zoom in. Where am I? I'm here. I, I climbed through the cave. And now... I need to get around somehow. I can't get up. Is this my boss is going to kill me? This is not, this is not what shitty boss is going to get me kill me hill. So I can probably go round this somehow. Um, 
No. Do you have any idea where I'm going? Of course I don't. I've not played the game unlike some. I'm 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 wandering around like an arsehole. I think I've got to go across that way. Right, like over there? Maybe. Do have any of do any of us have an idea where we're going? Steep, man. Very deep. Um <laughs> On YouTube's little video tab next to this one, the Stardew Valley one, the farmer says, avoid this, these mistakes. And Amaran Massive arrows pointing to ABA fail. I don't know what that is. Have I got to go up here somehow? Where am I? Can I? Oh, I can get up there. There we go. And now I can get up the little sheep steep hill. Getting lost and starving is half the fun. This game doesn't seem to have a hunger meter. If I wanted a game with a hunger meter, I, 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 well, I'd probably be playing Long Dark. But my map just went, it's a magic map. Climbing rocks, climbing rocks, climbing rocks. Rocks are fun. I mean, that's me talking. I quite like rocks. Rocks are cool. Abifail. Maybe you could climb if your hands weren't full of map. All right, shut up. No one asked you. Why does Henry still wear his wedding ring? Because he's still married? Is my guess. Um, and just putting your wife... Just because you put your wife in a home doesn't yeah just lean on that sign you big damn hero damn it um uh well that trail isn't closed anymore oh really yeah i took care of the black path um it was backbreaking but you know anything for the service well thank you anytime Mm. Mm. No one asked, but we still answered. It's pretty, pretty... Oh, crikey. Yep, that's a storm, and I guess that's... Hey, you keep your lights on at night? I'm doing a crossword puzzle. I, I do a lot of crossword puzzles. Fair enough. That is a hell of a storm, though. What the heck is this? What the? You know, I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. What kind of name is that anyway? Oh. Can I? Okay, right, let's talk about the toilet. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. No, that's not where it's supposed to go. Pick up the ball. Pick up the ball. <laughs> Score. I'm a grown-up. I'm a grown-up. This video probably won't be available in the, in the stream. Um, because... Um, what? Uh, what can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell... You should get inside. Fuck me. Picking up my typewriter. It's a good weapon. Met Nicole in real life and she's in my class. Same voice, same blonde, same everything. Holy crap! 
chopsticks. Uh. Someone broke in. They what? They just they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Holy shit, dude. What's my typewriter? Where's Photo with Julia? There we go. I guess. Okay, I put in a call. That was fast. What can they do? What can they do about it? Will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii Five-O. Do you have Damn. any idea who would have done this? Um, maybe the girls at the lake or the guy in the canyon? Who is out here? Know. Who's out here? I mean, I don't know either. I've never had a lookout be a target for violence. Great. I, I can't believe someone would do this. I mean... I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about dude, who knows what out there. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. Go. I need you to feel safe out here. Uh don't, don't worry. worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I've done it before. Okay, tough guy. Wow, okay. You're the grown up I always wanted to be. Oh no, set your sights higher, dude. Seriously. Wake up. I'm awake. Can I get out? Hey, wake up. Fine. I'm awake. Awake, awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and right? that's not working either. <sighs> Can I go fix it? I don't really know why that would be the case. Can I go fix it? Well... You probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So you're going to want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Space! Henry. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay. All right. <coughs> I guess I'm going. I guess I'm going out. What's this up here? Supplies for two tech. Oh, I'm, I'm actually. Oh, I'm not actually. What is that? That looks like National Forest Guidebook. All right. Okay. Why have I drawn a smiley on that? It's a bit weird. Henry's a bit odd. Don't tread on me. Okay, let's go out. No one should get up at 4am ever. I get up at 4am regularly. But that's because I'm a weirdo that can't sleep. Okay, so where am I going? I should look at the map. Survey communication lines north of the canyon. I don't know where I'm going. So I guess that's the canyon there. Where is the canyon? It doesn't. Oh, Thunder Canyon. North of the canyon. Wapiti Meadow. I guess it's this area. Um, I don't know. Well, let's... Right, north is that way. So if I go down and out... Telephone line is marked on the map. Is that it? 
Because that doesn't look like it. Um, oh, telephone line. It is as well. Oh, I see it. I see it. Yes, okay, right. So I am going north. This way. Back down the way I came. Maybe it's the line marked telephone. Yeah, that's my grown-up argument. Shut up. What's... Oh, this is... Oh, yeah, this is where I came in. It's my generator. And my baseball poop. My baseball poop. And can I just point out, guys, you, you're all sucking because... Don't, don't, don't take the mickey. Just because I don't know the game as well as you do. Or I will do probably not much, to be fair. No! Do oh, God, that's a broken ankle. Wait, oh. That makes me feel ill watching that. Okay, closing my eyes now. Okay. The broken ankle waking waiting to happen. Oh. Well, I guess I'm... Oh, no, 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 no. I am actually genuinely afraid of heights, so, um... When I say this makes me feel queasy, it genuinely makes me feel queasy just to watch this happening. Oh, did I jump down? Oh, I did. I didn't hear it. That's fine. Um, so, okay, where am I now? I am... Wow, I did not go far at all. Right, I thought I'd gone further than that. It's fine. Oh no, I've got to go down another one of these buggering things. At least do a parkour roll. I know, right? Okay. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Right, we're going down and across. It's fine. Right. We've got at least got some... Um... Oh, this is much nicer. I can stomach this now. Poor Cleo. Yeah. That's me. Poor Cleo. It's just, it's just tragic. Okay. So, I, I'm guessing that if that's where I am, I've got to go... I've got to go to the river and straight across. Okay. Um, can I go this way over it? I cannot. So, down, down we go. I'm guessing Mirror's Edge playthrough is right out. Pretty much. I am a big old baby when it comes to heights. Um, okay, straight down. Ooh. Cold morning fog. Yes, let's let's talk about fog. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Um, don't tell about Bucket. Uh, you know, um, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Aw, that's a good name. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's crazy. Now those are butterflies. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Okay. Hey, oh. I don't think so. Why, have you? What? Okay, good. Uh, no, uh I don't hey, think your he has button any idea. is still down. I'm absolutely sure. Delilah, I can hear you. Would you? I said I could. All right. But are you well, talking you know about me? Changes in that regard. Who um, are you talking to? Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. You um, you owned him with someone? Um. The, the, the cool. Who was that? Who was who? I I don't think he has any idea. What what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to. Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. 
Oh, she's annoyed. Okay. How do you hold up when it comes to aeroplanes? My boyfriend has a fear of heights and does find them. Yeah, not afraid of aeroplanes. It's the grounds, the grounds that kill you. Okay, so where am I now? Oh, I'm just going through the going through the canyon. Crack in. Let's find something now that Delilah's gone and gotten mad. Obviously I, I I eavesdropped into something that you know I shouldn't have. Shouldn't have. Bad boss just turned into sketchy boss. I know, right? She that that conversation was totally about me. Oh hello. I've got poles. She's had something. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Okay. Not a problem. Sketchy boss. Oh, what's going on here? So. Beartooth Point and Thoroughfell Fire Lookout. Oh. It's still a utility pole. Are we so really we cut? really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. Uh, uh hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom. But, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, oh. I'm in the right area. I do believe uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. Okay. Airplanes are awesome and make sense. It's helicopters that scare me. Um, yeah, I would not go. Okay, who's made a fucking cabin? Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello? Okay, then. You still pissed at me. Oh, there we go. We've got supply cash. Okay. Let's go for one, two, three, four, five. Same combination on my luggage. Um. Well, this one's a bit... Eh, hey, got a hat. Found an old hat from a Korean war vet. You'd be surprised how many former service members take this gig. Well, makes sense. I imagine if you've been through war, you probably can't get enough silence. Got a hat. Got a hat. Are you gonna talk to me about the old cabin? Cause I feel like Well, there's some old thunder going on there. Feel like somebody's living here and spying on me now. That's a. Uh, it's a bit weird. Didn't I just come this way? Oh, I've got to go that way, have I? Hang on, which way am I going again? Hang on, no. Let's look at the map. Oh, Hawks Rest. So it doesn't really matter which way I go up, but if I go to the right. I'm going up this way, I think. Or up this way? No, this way. I'm pretty sure it's this way. I want to learn to fly planes. My dad said my toes to too shape for it. Yeah, eyesight is one of those uh, things that you'd have to be really... There are certain jobs you just need it for. Holy mother of bejesus. I'm assuming I'm going the right way. But I've got to go all the way. Did I just come this way? I don't think I did. Okay, see you, Rachel. Oh, thanks, Chris. I really appreciate the uh the super chat. That's that's really useful actually. 
Oh, thank you. Oh, hello. What's that down there? I feel like there should be something down here that I should go and have a look at. Or is that just a tree? No, it's just... Actually, it's just a tree. But, okay. It's a giant something or other. That's a, that's a lot of a lot of nature to put into a game. Game. I mean, unless you're trying to show me something. No. Hey, Joe. Good to see you. It's an interesting tree, though. They're all interest. Trees are interesting. Fact. I mean, not necessarily a fact. How do you super chat? There's um. It's a donation link down the bottom. It should be a dollar sort of sign. I accept dollars. I'll be honest, dollars are probably better considering that the currency is about to go tits up. <laughs> I say about to go tits up. It's pr pretty much already gone. There's a box up there. Um, Can you see me? Uh, hey, I can see your tower. I suppose that means you can see me. Yeah, well enough. Okay. Wow, you really took that me asking about you to heart, didn't you? That's uh, it's a bit weird. If you wear glasses, you're supposed to be able to fly regular planes. Uh, I want to get around here. All planes except military ones. I... I'd probably be okay at the flying of planes. It's the landing of planes that might be a problem. And to be honest, it's the landing of planes that people... Um, people are concerned about. That's great. I'm going all the way up to the top. Oh, we found another box. 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 Open up the box. 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 And other such songs that you might enjoy. And some you probably won't. Don't think you can super chat on iOS. Oh, it's all right. What we got? Cash 302. To Mule Point and Two Forks Lookout. This is pretty eroded. Recommend leaving through Mule Point. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's copy that crap down. No, no, no. Open it. Open it. What's this? Okay. Right. Dave, hey -o! in 1986. Got your note about needing to talk. And sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. Don't even know you could really help anyway. We're co-workers, you know. Amigos, professionales. If you need someone to throw a case, back a case with and go time travelling, Ron's your guy. I'm not great with the life stuff. You get it? Okay. Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. I, I've got a book. I don't really care about the book, apparently. Okay. Right, so we've got to get up there, have we? Um, How am I going to do that, is the question. Why are all the locks one, two, three? Because it's secure. Cause secure, convenient, but mostly secure. What have we all got? No. I guess I've got to go down and round. Probably. They don't like you coming up to these boxes. Security and convenience. But mostly, mostly, you know, convenience Because that should be a word. It's my new word. I like it. I don't really like it. It's a bit crap, to be honest. But it's my new word. And if you're going to criticise me because of my new word, go right ahead. I don't care. Ah! Guess what? Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Clean it up. Yeah. 
How could these girls How be so these stupid? Girls be so stupid. <sighs> Trust me, I never underestimate oh! the stupidity of a drunk teenager. Also, I never underestimate the balls of a drunk young woman, having been one. Well, yes, okay. Oh my god, Cleo, it's like midnight. Wow. It's like this is Alright, give me the can. I want the can. Give me the can. I want that can that's buried in that rock. Literally. Jesus Christ game. Okay. Clean it up. This is the 1980s, yeah. Just just be careful with what you're trying to do. What? It's a utility pole. That's a utility pole. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. The wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Okay. Um. Okay, well, let's uh, clean up their beer cans because... Just so rude. Uh-oh. What? Can I... Uh... That's chopped. That's been cut. That is, um... Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. They stole your sheets, dude? I don't know. Um, wow. Wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. That Thanks. says go but to I'm hell. I'm going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Like big hands. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe well, they looped back around towards the lake or something. Okay. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Nope. There's a path. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go round because it's a path. <sighs> Idiot kids. Um. Oh, screw it. Oh. Nye. You see, it's a lot of you see Friday the 13th. Get your inspiration from that. There's another one. Look, they're mature adults that have a drink every five feet, apparently. Every five feet is not a drink. It's, it, to be fair, that's a problem. Okay, what am I looking for? guess I'm going in this direction or not I mean there's a little pathway up here that could be where they went guess I'm going down this pathway they might have gone down here it hurts your knees to see it. Oh. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. Okay, I guess I'm not going that way. Well, at least it feels semi-organic as opposed to... Well, to be fair, I say semi-organic... I could have climbed over that. Maybe they just weren't walking very fast. Can just mount beer involved. I think that's probable. True. Oh. Okay. Oh. 
Okay. Oh. Thoroughfare. Thoroughfare Basin region. Supply chop. Jonesy Lake. Two Forks Fire Lookout. I guess that's home. What's... Actually, let's have a look at my map. What's it called? Thoroughfare region. Supply drop. Oh, actually, a supply drop might be quite useful. Um... Yeah, let's go to let's go to thoroughfare. Just because I can, because I'm in the direction. Every time I watch someone play this, I'm reminded of how out of shape I am. Yeah. Although to be fair, once if you if you went like hiking around here for a while, you'd probably be holy shit balls. No. Nope. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Thoroughfare Fire lookout Ooh. I don't think that was a shape Round is a shape It's not a good shape for... Okay Supply cash One Two Three Oh Okay, supply cash. Two forks. Oh, nobody... Okay, fine. Guess I'm not supposed to come this way for a while, maybe. So, yeah, I guess this is this is supplies for, like, food and stuff. And this is... Like, off the map? Bet there's going to be a... Holy crap! Wow! Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Cool. Help! It's an Help! Emergency. Oh, God! It's an emergency! Oh, really? Yeah, I got, I got, um, I got eyes on a tornado. I gotta get out of here. A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes. <laughs> Holy moly! I need to call this in. Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado. He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility. There haven't been tornadoes in the Greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years. You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life. <sighs> okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. No dice. Man. <laughs> I quite like these two. They've got a weird little chemistry thing going on. It's, it's kind of cool. I'm... <laughs> Help! Henry needs to get late. Yeah! Uh, they're definitely building up a romance, but I think she's a bit flaky. I mean, she's nice. And, you know... But yeah, flaky as flaky as all get out. I feel um, there's nothing wrong with a bit of flake, you know. If you if you like, if you uh, other chocolate bars are available, but you know. Uh, oh. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens. No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well. You could always pilfer it for supplies. Okay, then. Cool. Brian Goodwin. Hey, I got myself a camera! Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them. In decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's, there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, who? Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Um, ranger? Was he a ranger or something? Oh, no, no. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. 
you can bring children out here? No. That seemed ridiculous. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Um, couldn't handle your charms. What, they couldn't uh, handle your unique brand of charm? Not many can. Unsurprising. Anyway, so it goes. Have uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Oh, oh, am I still doing that? Is, is that a thing I'm still doing? But supply cash in other terms. Okay, so one. No. Two. Three. Four. Okay. Bear sightings. Six. That seems... Good climbing. Bear tooth point. Okay. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel, Steve. It's your man, Ron. Went to check on the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for LOs. I figure I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock hanging himself? Having himself? Oh, hang on. Take that note. Screw it. What's it say? Oh. We saw Chimney Rock having himself in the hammock. I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and the perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Okay. Uh, we'll just keep the note. Fossilised claw? Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. He. Can I keep it? I'd like to keep it. And... I, oh, yeah, I can get the stone back in the box. Okay, I'm looking for these two. Don't use the camera. Make me. Or don't make me, or something. I'll use the camera if I want to. Hey, sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it, and... Yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it is. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but... <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. Wait, I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and I like companionship as much as the next person. I'm actually married. But you're here. Um, she's sick and I shouldn't be she's here. She's sick and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I, I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here and it's beautiful and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. If you're having weird emotional trauma, call me. Um, how's my day been? My day's been pretty good. It's been, it was the last day of school. I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm here chilling out. I've had some fun. I've got to play this game, which has been pretty cool. This is one that I've been meaning to play for ages. And, you know, there's just some pretty... You'll see the picture you take with it at the end of the game. Okay. Um, which way am I going? I don't know. No, I came that way. It is. It is ridiculously pretty. Uh. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? I reckon so. It Little looks like cow it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Okay, right, let's... Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. It's with P.T. Meadow, Mule Point, at... Oh, crikey, okay, um... 
Should I go down Jonesy Lake? Huh. I'm not sure. Which way should I, I go? I had a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. <laughs> what? Flapjack? Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Oi, hey, Flapjack. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful. I agree. That That is a name that I'm certainly going to be using very, very soon. Never figure them as to actually dating, but as BFFs so or like brother and sister. Um, they're definitely did your wife flirting. Have anything to do with you taking this job, or did you just fall prey to the service's big recruiting push? When it comes to you know how the hell you ended up out here. <sighs> I guess I was looking actually, for a job like I this. I was looking for the job. I just wanted to get out of town for a while. Well, you've come to the right place. Thanks to last summer, we got a bump in forest service budget and can actually afford to have you. Okay. Oh no, shift. Oh no, map shift. What happened last what summer? What happened last summer that accounted for this um, windfall? Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground. Ring a bell? Um, why would they do that? Yellowstone is like. What, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Oh, God. Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. I mean, what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the giver? <laughs> what should they so have done? So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't gonna burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it. But we touch it every single day. But hey, I don't know I about got that. a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. If the goddamn park can burn down again. Hmm. You're halfway through with your last term. Oh, yeah, we're halfway through. It's half term. So, yeah, we get a holiday. Oh. Attach rope, I guess. This is a true thing. Probably. It seems like a true thing. There was definitely a canyon crossover. Wow. I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. <laughs> ah, <it's> climb! <laughs> Fire can be regenerative for some for, for, for us. Yes, that is, that is a true thing! Don't know where I'm going, but... Cool. Where am I now? Oh, I'm going. I'm going. Well, I, sh I actually need to go down Thunder Canyon, or maybe I go down. Shitty boss is going to get me killed. Hill. Um, it could go either way. I feel like I should go to. Maybe. <sighs> right. Let's let's go down Thunder Canyon. Funny Thunder Canyon first. Half term in Australia, we have four terms and two semesters with higher education. Um, we have three terms and six half terms in in that. So we're gonna we're gonna go. Here I go rappelling, rappelling. I know it's rappelling. Don't 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 get like that. You know how you get. Don't do that. What does she have? Um. Alzheimer's, like dementia. She's got Alzheimer's, like um, dementia. Whoa, how old was she? Is she? 
She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Um... We didn't get well, it. We didn't really understand what was happening. You don't get Alzheimer's in your late 30s. No kidding. But even then, we didn't really get it until she couldn't work anymore and I couldn't leave her alone. It wasn't until then that I said, oh, this is it. This is over. That was hard. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. Wow, this is like day two and he's opened up already. I'm actually quite impressed by that. I mean, that's got to be a really hard thing to talk about. Um, because it's a really hard thing to talk about. I mean, can you imagine being... Crikey. Um, I'm in my late 30s. Can you imagine me going bananas? I say bananas. That That's actually quite rude of me. Can you imagine me going... Um, getting dementia and... Um, and dementia runs in my family, by the way. Although... I say it runs in my family. Technically, I've been told that there is no genetic link. Although, although my family do go a little bit do lally. Let's just put it like that. Let's put it kindly like that, I guess. Um, but can you imagine that? Me at my age doing that. Getting that. Who needs games that make you sad? Um, I think you need games that make you feel fit i'd rather a game that makes me feel something than a game that's just oh that's the thing i'll shoot at it ha <laughs> ha as a rule um yeah because well because i'm not a gimp i guess i'd yeah, i would really rather i do like the fact that they actually make you navigate using a map um, yeah, I think games should make you feel something, and, um, if a game is making you feel sad, it's doing its job. Getting, I thought you caught it from Corpse. No. For once, Corpse is innocent. What's this? Little f is that ducks? On the river? Can I swim? Oh, no. Oh, no. I could not see you getting dementia. I mean, I'm I'm at risk from it because of my family background, but I'm not at risk from it because of my lifestyle and the fact that my I I I am unlikely to just quit so thinking. How'd you meet? Um using my brain. Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I stumbled over and told her she was pretty, and that was it. Aw, oh, you were brave. I was drunk. It's the same thing, dude. Ultimately, it is the same thing. Oh, maybe this wasn't smart. I mean, I've not been smart before. Where am I? I've got to go across this meadow. Right. I think. Around here? Maybe? Or maybe I can only go the way the game has prescribed for me. No, that doesn't seem like this game. This is... No, I'm looping back on Thunder Canyon. I feel like I should be going this way. Somehow. Just around? Come drink for swimming in a lake? No. I guess I'm not going this way. Hmm. No, surely this is, this is doable. Otherwise, why would they make me... Why would they allow me to come up here? Game, I'm not liking your... I'm not liking your attitude, game. Buck it up. Liquid courage. 
Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Oh, we'll hop over. Okay, we'll hop over. We'll go this way then. This way, which is back the way I came. Like a muppet. Okay. I guess. I'd really quite like to go into. Hmm. Oh, hang on. No, they won't let me go up there. I don't think. Okay. Sandbox game with linear path. It's not really a sandbox game. It's a, it's a narrative game. Um, but I don't know if it's linear or it's just that I suck at finding ways around. Um, it's possibly both. My cat just came to watch the stream. She knows quality content when she hears it. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but thank you for the compliment. <laughs> Hmm. I mean, it could be. What are you be... gonna do when the fire season wraps up? Oh. Um. Are you gonna go be with her? Just go back to Boulder. <sighs> you maybe... should go be with her. Maybe I'll uh, go. Maybe I'll go visit. I don't know. Well, why not? She's with her family in Melbourne. Like I told They're you. Not big fans of mine. Why not? Oh. Her sister Susan is great, but her parents, I uh, think they always thought she could do better and that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. Down in Thunder I'm Canyon. down in Thunder Canyon. I'm not seeing that smoke anymore. Oh, it's still burning away. Try heading west from where you are. If you loop past the lake, there should be a trail that'll take you further south. Thanks, that helps. So, actually, yes, there should be a lake. Okay. Um, hmm. I mean, there sh it says there should be a trail. I mean, she's pointed the trail onto me, I guess. Uh, is any way really the wrong way? Why not? He abandoned her. I mean, it's got to be really tough. And I don't think you can ever blame anyone until you're in... You can't blame anyone from your to choice until you've lived in their shoes. Particularly with things like the sickness and illness of, of family. Particularly someone you really care about. Um, but watching someone you love go through something traumatic. It's got to have an effect on you. And even if you don't... if Even if you choose not to... Um, how do I put it? Engage. I mean, at some point you've got to protect yourself, even though she doesn't remember who you are. So. There you go. That That's just my th thoughts on it. Okay, so. There's got to be a way. Hang on. Right, let's look at the map. Where am I? I'm here. Okay, right. Right, let's put the map down, go for a bit of a run. Okay. Right, let's have a look at the map. Right, I'm here. If I head straight across... There should be a way up the side of the mountain. Aha! Yes! It was that I was less... I was unable to look at it. Or maybe I'm actually... Huh. No, that's the way I've got to go. 
and then right if I follow this trail I guess ah there's the trail that I missed before thing about Alzheimer's is there's literally nothing you can do to make it better especially when they have, they, they have no idea who you are anymore yeah that's true where am I Hey, I'm doing the thing. Okay, I'm doing the thing. Oh, that that actually was much better. Would you take a job like this? Um, I don't know. I possibly would. I mean, I'm um, I mean, I'd miss the internet. Um, but yeah, I'm a massive introvert, so. Personally, yeah, I'd probably take it. Um, so, yeah. Some weird shit in this place. Let's just... Where am I on the map? I'm down here and straight ahead should be a... Rap... Rap... Rappling. Rappling point. Um... Yeah, it's, it's oh, where? Where's that rope hook? There was one. I saw it. Here, there it is. Attach the rope. You hurt your legs too much, and it, it, you get fire in a month. I think you're probably selling yourself a little bit short. I mean, your legs would hurt, granted, but, you know, eventually you'd get used to it and you'd get, you'd probably be in the best shape of your life. <coughs> if you suit too many hornbills to feel comfortable living in the woods. Fair. It's fair. Right. Oh, we're nearly at a new cache. As long as I had my books, I'd be good. Yeah, pretty much the same. Books, do a bit of writing, do a bit of reading. Um, do a bit of being awesome. Because, you know, you, you've just got to deal with the being awesome things. There's the box. There's the box. Don't want to go to work tomorrow. Neither do I. I don't have to, however. <laughs> that was mean of me. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not that sorry, but I'm a little bit sorry. Well, hello. Copy information there. I like this. This is like, you just fill out your map. Uh... Okay. Michael, Mitch Michaels. It's last seen in Jonesy Lake in 1981. Ooh, sorry. Okay, missing persons flyer. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd day a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and my realized it was a bad God. idea. Um, PTSD. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. My yeah, I don't know. God. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him and what about this one? was the only next of kin. Pinecone or and, not Pinecone. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Pinecone or not? 
Just saying. Um, I was doing a thing. I've forgotten what the thing I was doing. Oh, smoke. You're going... We're going... Hang on. No. Terrible with maps. We're going this way. Gonna go with pine cone. Well, just so we're sure. Ooh, lush woods. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the aspen grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I did not. I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like Gorgeous. on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. The red dots on the map, so yeah, they're where I came from. Okay. Sorry. Look at that! Camera work, camera work, tra la 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 camera work. Beautiful game. Gorgeous as shit. You knew that. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I believe it when I see it. Okay, so I could pretty much go anywhere. Let's choose rocks. Rocks are always interesting, says the geologist. It's pretty much how I live my life. It's a turtle! Oh, I, uh, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. Well, isn't that something? It's actually pretty cute. Well, Henry, if you decide you want it to keep you company, nobody will mind. Now, what do I call it? Looks like a... Um, uh, Turt Reynolds! Oh, Shelly DeVal. Turt Reynolds! Turt Reynolds. <laughs> well, now I can't wait to see him. The mustache is impressive. You tell him I love Cannonball Run. Hi, Turt Reynolds. We're going to take you home with us. I love turtles. Turt Reynolds. I was going to go around the rocks. I guess that's all that's at the rocks, to be fair. Okay, let's go for a run. It's an arboreal hive mind. <laughs> You're all weird. Just saying, it's not really a thing. Just Well, it is a thing. I mean, you're a thing, but, you know, you're a terrible thing. You're not a terrible thing. I love you guys. Love you. That was really creepy. I'm never going to do that again. Ah, assholes. Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. Assholes. I had a pet turtle once. He was delicious. Ooh. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Um. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Don't ever take actual wild animals home with you in chat, people. Found another. Roger that. I, I just like the fact that, that Henry's just like, I'm just sitting here going mad and I'm just going to talk to her about everything I see for absolutely no reason. I guess this way and then up and around. I guess. Hang on, look at the map. Oh, I'm I'm way way off track. Yeah, follow the river, guys. Follow the always follow the river. If there is a river that you can follow, just follow it. Oh no, it's up here. It should be across the river and this way, according to, yeah, according to the map. Although that is a tent place, it seems. So, 
We're probably about to see the girls tenting. <coughs> Okay, why did it save? Uh oh. Yeah. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Okay. Report dangerous hunks! Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What? On earth are you it's the name of a magazine for girls it's on the ground here at their camp oh. I have entered the teen zone oh really and where's that it's another one of those magazines okay those are my sheets ah, found my sheets so they did break into your tower looks like can I take my sheets I want my sheets. Give me my sheets. Seriously. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Um. Oh. Wow. Okay. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? <coughs> like a like a bear or um Well I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. You're in a zone where you know there are bears. It seems logical to to you know. The bears did this. I mean, it seems reasonable. I don't need any more of those. Uh oh. What's the note say? Read it. Hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all our stuff. Oh, and stealing pansy panties is gross out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and are so going to jail. Hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks, dick. Oh, they're gone for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? Um. They're threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Well, did you? <laughs> no, I just dest well, I destroyed well, I their stereo. Do this. Okay, someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw their stereo in the lake. Yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Okay. We're at day three. Eventually. Okay, but I think on that note, I'm going to call it a night here. Thanks for sticking around through all my troubles before. Uh, hey, Henry? Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Anyway. Why are you asking? Bye bye, everybody. Love to, love, lovely that you came out, and hopefully, we'll be doing more of this soon. Bye-bye.